Welcome back to uh, another interview that we have coming up. My name is Christina Progiato and I have the honor now to interview two very special guests. We have two of our Drucker Challenge finalists here today. I want to say welcome Daniela Kormek and welcome to Mariana Demboski. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome you to our Drucker Challenge is our annual essay contest that we are running each year and this year's theme was actually on bouncing back, emerging stronger after setbacks. It connects nicely to this year's um, conference theme on resilience and um, maybe my first question to you, Daniela, mm -hmm. if I may ask, what was, your, um, what was your personal motivation to participate in this year's Drucker Challenge? Well, I saw it online. Well, first of all, thank you for having us here. Uh, this is an amazing experience, so I'd like to thank you all for this experience. Thank you. Um, so my motivation, I think, I was researching on the internet, and then I saw it, people talking about it. I saw it at the forum, and I was fascinated, really. And I was like, this is such an incredible uh, opportunity. So I decided to take a chance, and I'm so glad I did. This is such uh, an amazing uh, opportunity to be mm -hmm. here. That's wonderful. And you told me beforehand, before our interview started, a little bit about your topic. It was mm -hmm. diving a little bit into creativity. Um, yes. It's something that comes from a very personal interest as well. You're also an artist. Would you yes. care to give us a bit of an insight about your topic? Absolutely. So creativity to me has always been like such an important thing in my life because before I knew what resilience was, um, I didn't know how to deal with tough circumstances or tough moments in my life. And that's when creativity really brought like some new perspectives into my life and just like to reframe situations. Uh, I didn't know how to put words. I didn't know what like emotional regulation was or adapt or bounce yes. back. But I knew that when I had ideas, things would go better because I would just reframe the tough situations, you know, and I would just um, like come up with new ideas uh, and I think that's the main, uh, that's like so important, so fundamental to me that the, the role that creativity played in my life, throughout my life, since I was a little girl. Uh, and I think that's like brought me a lot of inspiration to my essay, I would say. That's wonderful. Creativity can be an amazing tool for us to deal with complex challenges that we're facing. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that creativity has been with you ever since you were a little girl. Yes. And with that, I actually want to go over to you, Mariana, because you mentioned that your topic was very much focused on what we can learn from children yes. in this regard. Could you, do you care to give us a bit more of an insight about that? I'm curious. Yes, it was very similar to what Daniela was saying. Um, I worked with children for a while, and it's very interesting when you stop to talk with them because they have as much problems as the adults have. And um, when you speak with them and ask how are they doing, they always come with like, oh, I, I am... I'm doing okay, I, I tend to play a lot, I tend to draw. They uh, lend to creativity a lot um, to take strength from, from that. So I looked at that and thought, well, maybe we adults should do the same thing as they do. Mm, yes, for sure. There's so many things we can learn from children. Yes. I have a little daughter as, at home as well, so I learn from her oh, every okay. day for sure. Hello, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what was, Mariana, maybe coming back to your topic once more, what was an interesting insight you had during your writing process? Is there anything that, that comes up for you, anything you learned? From the essay? Yes. I think... Um, um, I think stopping to think about the, the things we could learn with children. Um, normally, I don't stop to think about that. We just go with it. Mm -hmm. And stopping to think and write about it made me look very much on the things I was doing at the time, uh, the way I was looking at the problems, and noticing what I was doing wrong, maybe, mm -hmm. and seeing what I could learn that I have, hadn't yet. Mm. So I think that was the biggest for me. 
Mm, very nice. I love that. Also, um, yeah, letting go a little bit more, being maybe a bit more playful is something that I also try to implement uh, a lot. And yes. I feel like this conference is a good opportunity to dive into that. And mm. um, my next question to you is more about your process in the Drucker Challenge. I'm sure it was a very interesting um, endeavor for you, I could mm -hmm. imagine, to kind of dive into the topics that you're interested in, that you feel yes. motivated about. Um, so, Daniela, how was this process for you? What was maybe the best part about this process? Um, but what were maybe also some, some difficulties that you encountered? I think the best part was like researching um, about other people's perspective. And it was really inspirational to like read and listen to other people's stories before I wrote my own. Um, and I think that was like the most, that brought so much insight to me to like when I was writing. Uh, and it was really a fun process. I mean, it was a lot of work and research and reading about Peter Drucker as, as well. Uh, and it was, it was a lot, it brought me a lot of inspiration. But at the same time, it made me look at my path of resilience, which was painful. I think everyone can say, uh, everyone who has been through a tough moment, it can be a painful journey. So writing that essay kind of took a little bit, you, uh, like looking inside, which is, which is good. But when we are doing, when we have to like take a time, stop and look at our journey, it can be challenging sometimes. So yes. I would say like the personal side of it was a bit more challenging, but the whole process was actually quite, quite fun and, and really inspirational. That's lovely. It sounds like a personal growth uh, challenge to yes. me as well. So the personal Absolutely. growth Draca challenge, it could be named as well. Yes. Mariana, how was that for you? Did you have any highlights, but also a few lowlights? Could you share a bit more on that? Yeah, I, since the beginning, I was very certain that I would, I wanted to write about, I think I like a lot that it's neuroscience. I wanted to put that in my essay. I just didn't know how I could do that. And so after I decided that I would go to the children um, side, it was very easy to write about the things that I like. So I think um, the highlights would be that um, because it's almost like having a conversation with someone. You just have to write about the things you like and how it could help. And um, you just research more and learn more about it. And you have fun while doing that. So it's really nice. And for the low lights, I think it was very stressful at the same time. Um, it was fun, but uh, there are some points where you will stop and think you are doing the wrong thing. Maybe you are writing, um, maybe people will have better ideas than you. Maybe you are doing um, so little for a thing that it's so big. So that's the problem, I think. That was very stressful, but I'm glad I, stu uh, I stood to my, to my idea because it made me come here. So I'm very, I'm very glad. We are glad to Mariana that you stood up for your idea and that you kept going because I could imagine, like you mentioned, it, it must be tough sometimes. You are doubting, mm -hmm. you might think others have better ideas, etc., cetera, yes. et cetera. And I could imagine some people watching uh, are maybe interested to participate in the Drucker Challenge. So for those people who are watching and who would like to participate, what are some tips and tricks, would you say? What could help future participants? Uh, I think I can say what worked for me was like really uh, writing about the things that I believe in, um, listening to other stories and like uh, gathering inspiration because sometimes we think writing is just about our own process or about, mm -hmm. you know, like the, the challenge uh, that we're facing, but also like listening to other people together, inspiration and really writing about what you believe in. Um, and like be, at least that works for me, like really writing from your heart and the things that you want to change and how the, the change that you want to bring. I think that that would be the tip that I would mm. uh, use, that I would give. That's lovely, writing mm. from the heart. That's definitely yes. a good piece of advice. Mariana, what would you say? What would be a good tip? I think what I would say to the Mariana from the past, <laughs> if she asked me, I would say um, to keep doing like, put something you like in the, in the essay. It makes it easier. It makes it easier to write and to research about it. And as well, don't think too little on yourself. Don't think too little on your own experiences. Of course, there are people who will have 
um, maybe bigger experiences, but I think most of the times you can learn with the little experience from day to day. And so I think that's it, thinking out of the box and standing with your idea, because maybe it's the right thing. Mm. Yes. Lovely. Thank you for sharing that. I want to ask you, you told me before that you will be roaming around the conference here all day as well. We are here at the lovely Hofburg and the conference is going, going on in the next rooms here right next to the studio. Yes. And this year's conference theme is about creative resilience, as we mentioned before already. So I would be interested, and maybe I can start with you, Mariana. Mm -hmm. In general, what is your... What is your personal take on, on resilience? How do, you, how do you live resilience for yourself? And what would you maybe wish for the future workplace to incorporate that? Mm -hmm. I think resilience as a whole is um, coming, coming um, from, a different, uh, for, from a difficult time. But creative uh, resilience is more like, I think, seeing the, the beauty in the problems, trying to see it. Um, I remember that some months ago I, I was in a difficult time, and what kept me going was thinking that life is not made only by good moments. You have to learn with the bad ones as well. And maybe when you get the good moments, you will remind yourself mm. that you survived the bad moments. So I think that it's the most uh, important for me, for resilience, mm. um, always thinking forward and also enjoying the moment to learn on yourself. Mm. That's lovely. Thinking forward and learning for yourself. Yeah. Thank you for sharing these words. Yes. Daniela, how, how, would you, how would you answer my question? What, what is resilience to you and what would you maybe wish for yeah, the future workplace also? Uh, talking about specifically workplace is for people to understand that it's really a process. Mm -hmm. And I even wrote it on my essay that it's sometimes it's not like beautiful process. You know, there people are just going to, oh, let's bounce back. And you need a good leader, a good leadership. And understanding that it's really a process and it's a mix of skills that I would say. So creative resilience in that aspect. Um, I would say that it's uh, the first of all is like adapting to the circumstances, like it, it, it's tough. Sometimes it can be very scary. Uh, I say from personal experience and you look around and you say, okay, this is like, this is going wrong. What do I do now? Where do I go? Uh, and then first of all, adapting. And then here comes like creativity. When you, sometimes you don't have the resources, you don't have like the strength, but if you have ideas, you definitely have a way out. You definitely mm. can think from there. So when you have like a way to, um, to, think from a different perspective, uh, when the ideas give you uh, more flexible uh, scenarios, I think you have like uh, the perfect, at least the perfect um, mindset in the, in the work environment to move forward, I would say. That's lovely. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing. So what is your final question maybe? What are you hoping to take away from today's conference? A lot of learning. Yes. <laughs> yes. We only had one session so far and it was so inspiring. It was yes. it was really nice. So definitely a lot of learning and meeting new people from mm -hmm. all over. Yes. It's it's been like this cultural exchange. It's been so so nice. And yeah, I think so, right? Yes. And there are great minds um, speaking, but also working with us. Um, everyone is so great, everyone is so creative. And it's so inspiring to meet all these people, the speakers and the people from the, the challenge, the finalists, I mean. Um, they all can give you so much inspiration and you can learn so much from them. Yes. Um, so I think what I, I want to take from today is experience as a whole from yes. the, the speakers, but also from the finalists. Yes. That's lovely. So a lot of experience, a lot of learning that you mm -hmm. have ahead of you here at the conference today. Yes. That's definitely going to happen for sure. So many inspiring people mm -hmm. that I'm also meeting here at the red carpet throughout the day. So I want to thank you, Daniela Mariana, for taking the time to come to the studio here with me today, answering my questions. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank yes. you so much.